Good morning. I'm Karen Lee coming to you from my living room here in South Berwick for Karen Reads. I have two books for you today, so we'll be here for a little bit. Get comfortable. The first one is called Aunt Lulu, written by one of my favorite writers, Daniel Pinkwater. Daniel Pinkwater is a big husky guy who lives with his wife and a bunch of dogs and other animals in a big old farmhouse in the Hudson River Valley of New York State. He writes children's books and books for young adults. And he writes funny pieces that are read on, that he reads on national public radio once in a while. So listen for his name, Daniel Pinkwater. He's very good. And here is his book on Lulu. My Aunt Lulu is big and strong. She lives in a house with her pets. She has a cat, she has a fish, she has a bird, she has a mouse, and she has 14 dogs. The dogs are all huskies. Aunt Lula got them when she lived in Alaska. They are sled dogs. When Aunt Lulu lived in Alaska, she worked in a library. She would put a lot of books on a sled, then she would hook the dogs to the sled. Then she would say mush. Mush is what you say when to sled dogs to make them go. Mush, she would say. Then she would call out the dogs' names. Mush, Melvin, Louise, Phoebe, Willie, Norman, Hortense, Bruce, Susie, Charles, Teddy, Nettie, Eddie, Freddie, and Sweetie Pie. Then Melvin, Louise, Phoebe, Willie, Norman, Hortense, Bruce, Susie, Charles, Teddy, Nettie, Eddie, Freddie, and Sweetie Pie would pull the sled. Aunt Lulu would drive the sled to the diggings. The diggings were where the gold miners lived. When the gold miners saw Aunt Lulu coming, they would stop digging for gold. Look, it's Lulu the librarian, they would shout. Look, it's Melvin, Louise, Phoebe, Willie, Norman, Hortense, Bruce, Susie, Charles, Teddy, Nettie, Eddie, Freddie, and Sweetie Pie. Did you bring the books we asked for, the gold miners would ask? Did you bring stories about cowboys? Did you bring stories about pirates? Did you bring stories about sweet little kittens? Did you bring stories about gold miners and wolves and freezing to death? All the miners. Yes, I have brought all the books you wanted, Aunt Lulu would say. Then she would hand books to the gold miners. She would collect the books the gold miners had finished reading and put them on the sled. Then she would turn the sled around. Mush, Melvin, Louise, Phoebe, Willie, Norman, 
Hortense, Bruce, Susie, Charles, Teddy, Nettie, Eddie, Freddy, and Sweetie Pie, Aunt Lulu would say, and the dogs would pull the sled back to the library. Sometimes Aunt Lulu would get lost in the snow. Sometimes the dogs would lose their way. Then Aunt Lulu and the dogs would have to sleep on the trail. But she was never late coming to collect books, and she always brought the miners the books they asked for. I lived up in the wilderness in northern Minnesota for one winter, and we did get lost one time when we were out and we did have to sleep on the trail. And it was a little scary because it was 40 degrees below zero, but we had good sleeping bags and we took care of each other. Aunt Lulu decided it was time to leave Alaska. She missed her home. She missed her family. She missed her friends. She had enough of snow. She'd had enough of cold. She'd had enough of miners. Those miners are nice fellows, Aunt Lulu said, but they get boring after a while. She wrote a letter. Get a new librarian, she wrote in the letter. I am going home. You can see the icicles in her window. Then she said goodbye to her dogs. Melvin, Louise, Phoebe, Willie, Norman, Hortense, Bruce, Susie, Charles, Teddy, Nettie, Eddie, Freddie, and Sweetie Pie. I am leaving, Aunt Lulu said. Of course you can't come with me. All the dogs began to cry. Sweetie Pie climbed into Aunt Lulu's lap. He looked at her with sad eyes. He licked her chin. I suppose I could just take you, Aunt Lulu said. Then she looked at all the other dogs. They look sad too. Do you all want to come with me? The dogs all jumped up and down. We live in New Jersey. Will you like that? The dog smiled and barked. It doesn't get as cold as Alaska. Will that be all right? The dogs rolled on the ground and waved their feet in the air. I guess you want to come with me, Aunt Lulu said. Okay, it is settled. We will all go and live in New Jersey. There's some very happy dogs. There was a noise outside on Lulu's house. It sounded like shouting, like shooting, also like a moose making moose noises. What could that be, Aunt Lulu said. She looked out the window. It's the miners, she said. They have come all the way from the diggings. The miners knocked on Aunt Lulu's door. May we come in, they asked. Certainly, Aunt Lulu said, this is a nice surprise. The miners came, came into Aunt Lulu's house. Their names were Nick Slade, Blackie Jake, Baldy, Bart, and Spanish Ralph. We heard you were going away, Bart said. We came to say goodbye, Nick said. We shouted, and shot off our gun like miners do, said Baldy. 
to show you that we like you, said Slade. Thank you, Aunt Lulu said. I also heard moose noises. That is your present, Jake said. My present? You bought me a moose? No, we bought you a moose call, said Spanish Ralph. You blow it and a moose will answer, if there are any moose around. Of course, if you would like to have a moose to take home with you, we could get you one, said Blackie. Oh, no thank you, said Aunt Lulu. A moose call will be very nice. When I am home in New Jersey, I will blow it and remember you all. The miners blushed and shuffled their feet and took their hats off. We like the books you brought us, the miner said. Another librarian will bring you books, Aunt Lulu said. Would you like to have cups of coffee and wolverine stew? Looks like he's holding the moose call in his hands. Yes, please, the miner said. Aunt Lulu brought the miners cups of coffee and bowls of wolverine stew. Where will you live in New Jersey? Spanish Ralph asked. Parsipani, Aunt Lulu said. That's a beautiful place, Baldy said. Are you taking the dogs with you? Jake asked. Yes, said Aunt Lulu. That's good, Blackie said. Yes, said Aunt Lulu. The dogs will like living in Parsipani, Slade said. I hope so, Aunt Lulu said. After the miners finished their cups of coffee and bowls of wolverine stew, they all said goodbye to Aunt Lulu and went away. Nice med men, Aunt Lulu said to herself, but boring. came back to live in New Jersey, the first thing she did was to come and see us. It was winter. There was plenty of snow. She came to see us in a sled. She wore a parka lined with fur. Pulling the sled were Melvin, Louise, Phoebe, Willie, Norman, Hortense, Bruce, Susie, Charles, Teddy, Nettie, Eddie, Freddie, and sweetie pie. There she is on the tollway. Aunt Lulu showed me the moose call the miners had given her. You may keep this, she said. But don't blow it outdoors or moose will come. We don't have any moose in Parsipani on in New Jersey, my mother said. You might have some, Aunt Lulu said. You don't want them around the house. Are you always going to go around in that dog sled, my mother asked. I don't see why not, Aunt Lulu said. What will you do in the summer, my mother asked. When summer comes, we'll have to see, Aunt Lulu said. Don't you think a car would be better, my mother asked. Not while I have this perfectly good sled dog team, Aunt Lulu said.
Summer came. Aunt Lulu came to see us. She had put wheels on her dog sled. She was not wearing a fur-lined parka. She had a dress on. She had sunglasses with pink frames. Melvin, Louise, Phoebe, Willie, Norman, Hortense, Bruce, Susie, Charles, Teddy, Nettie, Eddie, Freddie, and Sweetie Pie all had sunglasses with pink frames too. We like this warm weather, Aunt Lulu said. still lives in Parsipani, New Jersey. In winter, she drives the dog sled all over town. In summer, she drives the dog sled with wheels on it. Winter and summer, she wears her sunglasses with pink frames. And Melvin, Louise, Phoebe, Willie, Norman, Hortense, Bruce, Susie, Charles, Teddy, Nettie, Eddie, Freddie, and Sweetie Pie wear their sunglasses with pink frames, too. Okay.